Hi, welcome. Um, this video has a topic, well, could have several um, titles. We're going to update our system. There is a new NeoFetch update and things have changed a little bit. We have no numbers behind here and that's because of the update of NeoFetch. I've made some uh, videos about it, about the ASCII, how to make, how to create an ASCII code like that. That's uh, the Carly project for it, so no. And the dove into the code, the new code that came from NeoFetch, from, from GitHub, right? So not from us. But we tweak and theme the configuration file of it. So what we're going to show you is a bunch of things and it's gonna be, of course, educational as usual. So the content, the title, was, which I'll use on YouTube will not, like always, contain the content of this video. So we need to update. Now, if we do a Control T or an F12, it's all good. Um, what you like to, what you like to use in your workflow, everything is up to date. Also rebooted, so that's okay. But at this point in time in the video, the this package that I have is still on the testing repo. And if you want to be a beta tester, or if you are a beta tester for sure, then you need to activate the testing repos. Now, in the past, we had this N Pacman, which still works, of course. And you go inside here, and what you edit is you delete some lines. Basically, these are the normal lines, but here's our testing. So this is the one you need to delete, delete, and delete, and that's it. So then it's, it's modified. But in this point in time, and we're now mid-March, right? We do Control alt e E is the tweet tool. Control uh, alt w is the welcome tool. So we have in here a pacman.config, and all we need to do is enable Arclinux test repo. And suddenly, with the Control t and an update, you see extra lines. And these are the extra lines, repo testing, you see? So it, it finds something and it says, do you want me to install it? I'm not gonna do that because I wanna make a very educational video. One of our aliases is called Backup Scale. Backup Scale. And it's going to copy over recursively with force. So I'm reading these R and F. ETC Scale inside a backup. So a Scale backup name with a date, a year, the month, the day, etc. So that sounds like a good idea. What is the current status of our configurations in ETC scale? That's not your configuration. The Arclinux configuration is inside ETC scale. So backup scale, boom, what happens now? I have here a scale backup from 14, 16, uh, 16 o'clock, 17, 19 seconds, right? So this is before the update. Now I'm gonna make the update and it's installed in etc scale, it says. So now I'm gonna do another backup scale, which provides me with another folder. And the fun start of the fun is now, I can explain very easily what changed on your system. What changed in config? Well, there are two files, but actually one is used, certainly if you're using the tweak tool, that's actually the one that's used. Um, this is, has been created in the past for other tutorials, and I leave it there. So the config and the conf, if you want to see, if you want to know, um, that's easy. If you want to see what the difference is, but we'll do it later. So what happened between before and after? So this is before, that's after. Look at the, the time, 44 seconds. So we get Dylan. Dylan puts out a new uh, NeoFetch, right? He develops all the time, so that's cool. We get updates in, and this is the old one, that's the new one, so this is new code coming in. What has changed? So this is new, haven't tried it out yet, title, fully qualified domain name, so it's off, so we won't see it. Some text here, so everything with a hashtag in front of it, it does not really matter, it means it's just text, it's not a variable, it's not used, and you see it's just a switch around of some words. Same here, same here. This is new, memory percentage on, okay? So we could have a look, let's do this. We don't need this, I think, anymore. We can put you here, Control alt t 
and we would like to see the memory. So you see here memory and nothing behind it, you see? So if we do, and we haven't done that yet, if we do a scale, that's another alias, we've just done the backup scale, so we just want to see what has changed before we do the scale. That's copy pasting everything over and overwriting your uh, configuration. Well, just the ones that are need to see scale, right? The rest won't touch it. So if I do a scale, the memory thing would will have changed, will change. This is the new thing. Memory percentage on. All right, scale. We try it out. This is normal. We have fixed that by now. That's our tweak tool. Control T. And we have here the 9%. That's new. So this is changed, right? So the developer, Dylan, says, look, I have something new. You can actually host or, or put the, this variable in here so that people know, okay, I've used 9% of my memory. Okay, so you go through all this and that's how you do any of our packages, any of our things that come in that are in at the ETC scale, you can check it out. So public IP timeout is here. The version, the E version is on. Uh, so this is also new, 4.14. So if you're on BSPWM, you get something else. I haven't tried it yet. So it's new, 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 right? Plasma shows it as well. And we go down, right? So some text, some text, always text. Disk per percentage on. Control Alt E. We have do not have the disk percentage by default on. So we go to NeoFetch, we go to show disks, apply, close, close, control T. And the disk gets now a percentage, which is kind of cool because you kind of see, oh, I'm getting near to the, the top, right? Near to the a full disk, then you need to do something. Those are texts, so all the hashtags, it's just uh, all the support for all the players. Spotify works, by the way. And it will display the thing you're listening to. So a new thing here that's uh, in here, but nothing changes as for us, everything looks the same. So I just put it in and then fine, right? Some texts. And these are all the, the um, distros he supports. So I've made a video all about Carly, how to make a new fetch ASCII code for Carly. And I've made, uh, I've put online a demand, a request. So if somebody could make a nice ASCII code. So this is actually the fun part. If you want to be into that, um, that's fine. So new fetch and then read what it says. It says here ASCII distro, right? So start typing ASCII and an underscore distro. And take one of them, free mint. Well, we have an, a free mint installation because well, the OS is still showing. So quickly hide that away. And I am going to impress people that I have a free mint operating system with Pacman. Uh, where are you? Neofetch, show OS, apply and then it's certainly gone. And then nobody knows if I do this again. So kernel, blah, 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 blah. nothing to know that I am Arch Linux. I get this nice, I think it's a B, a logo. And you can take all of them. How about Lubuntu? Uh, Lubuntu, is that a logo for Lubuntu? Yeah, might be. Manjaro, that's one I would recognize. Yeah, that's the one. There's so many more. Reborn OS, there are so many nice distros out there for you to explore. And generally, distro hop all you want. That's Reborn, it's nice too. There's so many more. Okay, so that's the little bit of fun you can have with these ASCII distro things. And we're through. So basically that's what's happened. And um, that's how you analyze everything. 
And the difference between these two, let's say that as well. So home Eric is open. So if you go to the config, what's happened now, we have a new uh, file. If you do a scale, of course, you get a new NeoFetch. All these images are all the same. It's, it's all about this. The back is because of our uh, tweak tool. So it's going to make a backup. So if you still open, if you do a reset, it's actually the backup that comes back. So reset, check, check this out, check that out, reset. There are gone. This is back and this is back and voila. It's a backup that's uh, put there. Okay, so the disk is gone and everything is cool. So these two guys are there because of the um, some tutorials that are still on uh, the internet on, on, on YouTube. And the only difference are, are in this case, uh, yeah, true, that's one of my last changes. I'll make a new package so that this guy is actually exactly the same. Because the only difference should be, uh, let's um, save this. That's going to be faster. And then open it again. And immediately it jumps to the lines where it is. So the only difference is choosing between ASCII and an image, a logo. That's why it says logo config. And that's basically it. That should be the only difference. So a choice to immediately immediately switch, delete the other one and get this one. Of course, it needs to be called config.conf. That's the only one NeoFetch will read this one. That's just one, a switch and also a backup. If you screw some things up, then you have a backup here and just do compare. And of course, there is still the backup from the tweet tool. So can't go wrong, experiment with it. It's fun and uh, you can change so many things with a control hold E. You can have some fun and go for choices like no backends. Why not no backend, right? Just came to think of something. Um, if we're not going to put a number in here, but if we, um, well, that's not by choice, of course, that's because of NeoFetch's change, but I'm happy with it. So it's a cool thing. If we want to ask your number, a version of your uh, ISO that you've used, then is that this, this is the way. Sysinfo is a still a way to figure out. And of course, cat etc lsb release is basically what all these engines do, all these machines do. They have a look what's in there and get it. So they've changed something and because of it, we don't have the numbers anymore in NeoFetch, but that's cool too. We have our solutions, our ways to figure it out. So um, control T, I was trying, I was showing all this and then it just hit me, I should say that as well. So control T is this look and then the other look enables something. And this is where something can go wrong, control T right? It stays the same. Eric, nothing is changing. Please choose something, right? Arc, apply. And then you get an image. Now, before anybody says, hey, uh, what's this about this, this thing moving away? It's gone. It will always be gone. That's because it's a terminal. That's because it's NeoFetch, it's termite. It's, it's like that. So live with it in the sense that control T and now print screen. Then you make your screenshot and then it stays. But you can only loop this thing so it stays there, but that's not an option because then you can't type anything anymore because it's looping in, at uh, that point in time. So just do it. This is a last resort thing and then an image and then it's cool. There are so many nice ones. Let's make also some publicity for the medallion gold. All right, apply, control T, awesome logo. Linux made easy and beautiful and with that, I say goodbye and enjoy our clinics.